Around the holiday season, Americans generate about 25% more trash than at any other time of the year. This matters because very little plastic is actually recycled, less than 10%, and a lot of what doesn't make it into landfills ends up in the ocean. In tonight's Protecting the Planet series, CBS's Ben Tracy looks at new research into this growing problem. Final volume, are you ready? Yes. This team of international scientists working off the coast of Panama we are exploring the unexplored. Is looking for something you'd think would be hard to find. It's like, you know, finding the needle in the high stack. But in this case, the needle is microplastic and the ocean is drowning in it. An estimated 33 billion pounds of our plastic trash enters the oceans every year, eventually breaking down into tiny fragments. Microplastics are uh, small uh, plastic fragments that are smaller than five millimeters. So we're talking kind of everything from like pencil eraser to yeah. less than a hair. Yes. Close it, Alvise. These researchers are trying to fill in a missing piece of the microplastic puzzle. And I want to know what is happening to them when they enter into the ocean. It's important to understand how they are moving from the surface to the seafloor. About 70% of marine debris sinks to the seafloor, but we know little about the impact as it does. A recent study estimates there are now 170 trillion pieces of plastic in the ocean, more than 21,000 for every person on the planet. So I'm going to secure the sample. The data from this study could help us better understand how microplastics are affecting everything from the ocean's ability to cool the earth to our health through the food we eat fish like tuna, swordfish, sardines. A lot of us are eating these fish that are ingesting all of these microplastics. Yeah, that's true. They are doing this research on a ship owned by the Schmidt Ocean Institute, funded by former Google CEO Eric Schmidt and his wife Wendy. They let scientists use it at no cost, but there's a catch. One of the requirements of using this floating lab for free is that the scientists have to share their data with other scientists all around the world. All the knowledge that has been you know, gained during these years about plastic pollution, I think it's starting to change people's mind. Because a lot of what we think is disposable never really goes away. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Panama.